Hey guys, Kieran here. Today I'm going to be doing a beginner's guide to MetaTrader 4. So if you're brand new to MT4 or you want to just get an overview of the functionality of the platform, then that's what we're going to cover off in this video today. Before we get started, let me of course mention my Trader Seed program. I'm a white label partner of the proprietary trading firm FTMO and run discounted trading programs. So if you want to get funded to trade the financial markets at a discount and make real profits, check the link in the description. So MT4. So MT4 is a very widely used piece of software in the trading industry, particularly in Forex and particularly in the prop firm industry. Now when people first log into MT4, it can seem a little bit overwhelming because the UI is pretty old and it doesn't really match up to today's standards in terms of platform UIs. Um, so this video hopefully is going to address that because it is a very simple platform to use and it is massively customizable and flexible. Um, although today we're just going to be covering off the basic uh, functionality, just enough to get you started uh, placing trades and things like that in MT4. Okay, so when you first download MT4 uh, and log into it, you're going to be uh, greeted with this pop-up. You can just enter your login and password and server here and log in. So once you log in, uh, what will happen is you will see some markets appear in in this box up here. Now this box is your market watch and this shows you all of the markets that are available to trade from this broker. Um, now often in MT4 for some reason the market watch will not be populated with all the markets that you can trade through the broker. So what you have to do is you have to right click and click show all and that will now populate the market watch with all the markets available to be traded. One thing to note here is if you notice that a few of these markets here are in light gray, you can see the light gray compared to the black. The light gray markets means that they are not tradable on your particular account type. So those will not be tradable for you, just the ones with the black text. So once you have shown all the markets in the market watch, another tip for you is you can right click and show spread. This will add an additional column here and you can monitor exactly what the spread between the bid and the ask price is. Uh, as well so that's uh, pretty useful to do and i'd recommend doing that always so that's the market watch the next window down here is the navigator this is where you will see all of your accounts you can log into and log out of accounts you can display your indicators expert advisors and scripts are um, advanced functionality which we're not going to talk about in this video uh, but just know that if you're writing custom robots or custom scripts this is where you will find those things at the bottom here this is your terminal the two most important tabs here are the trades and the account history trade of course will show you all of your current open positions and account history will of course show you all of your closed positions so now let's open a chart so to open a chart you can do it a couple of ways you can use this arrow down here to open a chart you can also click on a market and drag the market over here which will also open a chart if you want to change a chart that you're currently looking at you can also just click and drag on top of the chart and it will change the market uh, that you're looking at on this chart you can play around with these windows to resize them um, but they include some nice functionality if you right click on the tabs down here and click tile windows it will tile the windows nicely for you no matter how many charts you have open to maximize the charts of course and minimize them as you would expect you can use the windows resizing tools like that okay to place trades there's a couple of things you can do if you click this little arrow here it will open the quick trades console so you can quickly place buy and sell orders directly from here if you just want to change your lot size you can do so when you click buy or sell you'll be greeted by the one click trading you just have to accept the terms and conditions you only have to do this once once you've accepted it you'll be able to place trades directly from the charts like so the other way to open and close trades is to right click on the market you want to open a trade on click new order that will bring up the order ticket you can place whichever trade you like you can put in your stop losses uh, wherever you like let's put take profit in here you can choose whether you want the trade to be a market a market order or a pending order if you choose pending order you can put your limit price down here once you're happy with exactly how you want your trades you can place the trades and you will see that pop up down in the terminal down here so the trade we just placed is the one at the bottom and you can see now you can see your stop loss and your take profit included in the terminal down here any commission and swap fees and your current position so to close trades you're just going to click the x like this in terms of customizing charts what we can do is um, we're going to right click and go to properties 
This brings us to the chart properties. Um, there's a couple of tabs in here to look at. The first one is colors. So in here, as you would expect, you can change everything about the chart that you like uh, in terms of colors. Now in the common tab, uh, we can change the chart type. Let's change it to candlesticks. Let's add the ask line, which is a good line to add. This will show you the bid and ask spread on the chart. Um, let's turn uh, off the grid and let's click OK. So here's the chart uh, that we've just made. It's not particularly attractive, but there you go, just to demonstrate. Uh, we can use the, the zoom in and out to make the chart slightly more readable. Now, one of the issues that MT4 has is once you've customized the chart, if you add a new chart in here, you will see that it, it doesn't give you the new format. It sticks with the old default format. So what we need to do is we need to save this as a chart template. So to do that, we're gonna to go to charts, templates, save template. And a little trick for MT4 is if you, if you save your template with the name default, it will always open your charts with that chart format. So now we've saved our, de uh, our template as default. Any chart that we open will open with that format. Okay, so that's a good tip uh, if you're wondering why your charts keep opening with the default MT4 uh, template. We can change timeframes using the switcher here, one hour, one day, one month. In terms of drawing on the charts, as you would expect, you can just add lines, turn lines like this. To edit these lines, you're just gonna to have to double click on them and you can see these little dots on the outsides. That means that line is selected. So now you can drag it, you can click delete on your keyboard or you can right click and delete. Let's double click on this trend line, click delete. Adding indicators, so let's have a look down here. So we can add indicators. There are some indicators built in. To add indicators, we can just drag and drop them onto our chart. It will give us some parameters if we want to change the periods or, or whatnot. Um, let's click OK, and it will add that these indicators onto your chart. So to remove an indicator, we're just going to right click. We're going to go to Indicators List. All the indicators that you have added to your charts will be here. You can click Edit if you want to edit the settings, or you can just click Delete to remove the indicator. That's pretty much it in terms of the basic functionality, actually. So if you have questions, let me know in the comments below. Like the video, subscribe to my channel. Make sure you check out my training program, Trader Seed. Um, and in the meantime, I wish you good luck.